Give me a second. Of course. if I can get through this. Okay, I'll try. Go ahead. Thank you, Freddie. Um, it's clear that you're overcome with emotions. It's a special day for you and your entire family being back here in Atlanta. Are there yeah. any words you can put to just how you're feeling right now? hard to even look up and see people that <laughs> who I've been with for 15 years. So <sighs> it's really hard to put into words. I can't even look up at you guys because I don't know if I'm going to get through it. So I was doing pretty good about an hour ago, gosh. Um, um, I don't know all the emotions. Uh, it's hard to put into words. I'm just happy to be back. Um, this organization the people, the media people who have covered my family with grace and love over the last 12 years. It's hard. The fans, since I was 20 years old, the ones that saw me when I was 17 in Gulf Coast League, in Rome, Georgia, 2008. Myrtle Beach in Pearl, Mississippi in 2009. In Gwinnett. Everyone helped me be who I am today. I love the Braves organization with all my heart. That will never change. What will it mean to you when you receive your ring and just have it to, to hold forever? Um, probably this again. <laughs> but for me, that World Series ring is more than a ring. I think when you're a kid, all you dream about is making it to the big leagues. That's everyone's dream. And then you get to the big leagues, and then you just want to stay. And then when you're lucky and blessed enough to be able to stay, your whole mindset changes. And all you want to do is win. Because no kid wants to, thinks about a World Series. They just think about, I want to be in the big leagues. you know. And when you get here... And you get to put on a, a Braves jersey. We'll say 14 and a half years because I had to put on a Pelicans jersey for half a year. So um, the only thing that matters is winning. And we went through a lot of up and downs in my 12 years. And then we reached the pinnacle last year of winning it all. That ring is just not a ring to me. Um, it's all the sacrifices. 
all the missed family time, all the hours, the broken wrists, the 14-hour bus rides, the minor leagues, the 4 a.m. get into the hotels, the grind every single year to finally win it. There's no better feeling in the sport. So, and to do it with Snit, Walt, Eric, Wash, Sal, Rick Kranitz, Alex, Terry, and all those guys in uniform in that clubhouse that are still there and some that aren't. That ring is good. There's nothing better. So, that's what I'll be thinking when I get that ring today. Freddie, I'm, <clears throat> sorry. Freddie, I'm sure you expected this to be emotional. Did you expect the emotions to hit you this hard? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. But I think I've always told you guys how much I love the Braves and this city. And I thought I loved this city and, th and this organization a lot, but I think you can tell how much I truly do love this organization and this city. I don't even know how I'm going to get through this weekend, guys, to be honest. Man. Uh, Freddie, is, is today um, the closure you need? Or will some part of you always have some small regret about not finishing your career as a Brave? I have no regrets, um, and I'm not looking for closure. There's nothing to close for me here. Why would I close such a special time in 15 years, you know, that I spent here? And there's, for me, nothing to close. Um, I think that the regret question is a whole different side of the story that I'm not, I'm not here to talk about because I think one-on-one -on -one with people I've talked to, that's a, whole, that's a, that's a different side of it. Um, Because if I got into that, we would be here a long time. <laughs> and that emotion would change big time. So, um, well, that helped me stop crying a little bit. Thanks. <laughs> 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 I think the people that know me know a little bit about what happened a few months ago. So. I'm just going to leave it at that. Freddie, you said, first of all, don't worry. Allergies have gotten into everybody. <laughs> um, you, you and athletes in general are really good about compartmentalizing things once the game starts. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that's going to work tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you, you were able to do it in L.A. Why do you think it's different here? Because um, this is where I walked in every single day. Saw you guys every single day. Uh, I drove in today and I saw 14 Freedom 5 jerseys. I never took that for granted. I think I'm crying so much because some of you know all of that what happened. So it's hard. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be compartmentalizing anything about tonight, even tomorrow and Sunday, because tomorrow's crowd is going to be a whole different crowd. 
So each crowd's gonna be a whole different crowd too. So I don't know. I don't know. I was looking forward to today. But I'm hoping it's Monday soon. <laughs> so <laughs> gosh, this is a lot harder than I thought. Brady, did this hit you as soon as you got to Atlanta last night or more when you got to the stadium, the combination? Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, I was actually pretty surprised when I landed. Um, I, was, I wasn't feeling really anything. I was just happy to be here, you know, and I got to go home to my house, um, doing all right. I mean, many of you guys have seen Ivan cutting hair. He's been cutting my hair for 12 years, so he came over and maybe as good as you can possibly look with what I got. So, um, and then, uh, you know, I was able to go to sleep because the bed we have is pretty nice. So, but, um, I think when I woke up, I was starting to feel a little clammy in my hands. Um, Mark, you know, and a lot of you guys know, I headed on to companions and when I walked in there, there was about 90 people in there, and they all stood up and started clapping. It was just me and Charlie. My whole family's here, but the boys just finished eating. The, the boys finished eating lunch, and they had blueberries all over their face, so I couldn't get them out of the house in time, but... Um, that's when it hit me. And obviously, I got here. Pretty Stone picked me up. And, uh, I'm not in the players' lot, parking lot anymore. I'm in the parking lot connected to the players' lot. Um, Peter Moreland met me at my parking spot. So been about since noon. <laughs> Getting pretty almost good day too. Real good. I asked if they still had it. <laughs> they said they'll never take it off, so that, I appreciate that, Rob and Patricia. And I heard they're catering for sometimes for the Braves now. Dansby got that in there because Dansby goes there every day too. <laughs> Freddie, when you were a leader in the Braves clubhouse, what were the qualities of yours that you hoped would rub off on the others? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, talk about leadership and stuff like that. I mean, that's just. That's, uh, I don't know if this is the. I don't even know. You know, all I tried to do is play the game every single day. Uh, once I put on that jersey, I tried to uphold and respect everyone that's put on the Braves jersey before me. I just try to treat everyone with respect and the care and the love. And I've tried to show that to everyone here over the years. Yeah. Uh, baseball is not a sport where you rah rah and stand on top of dugouts and scream at people. You just don't do that in this game over eight, nine months. You lead by caring about people and having real conversations with them. You watch them get married, you watch them have kids. Um, for me, over the years have changed how I view leadership. Um, for me, being a leader is being present in each and every one of your teammates' lives and coaches' lives. And as we spend more time with them than you do with our families. And I think that's what's so hard about this is because you guys do the same thing we do. You guys are here 11, 12 hours a day too, sacrificing so much. That's why it was hard for me to look at you guys because we, we, we were in this together, you know, we were. And I don't know, being a leader for me is in the game of baseball, because um, it means something else in other sports. There's other sports where you, you can hit harder, you can do things harder. In baseball, you can't try and throw harder, you can't try and swing harder, you can't this game you got to slow down and try and not do things as hard as you possibly can so I don't know for me it was just trying to be present and know I cared about each and every one of them because I still do because uh, I, 
when Ozzy broke his foot, I FaceTimed him in the sixth inning because we hadn't started yet. And, you know, I an he answered and we just talked and I just told him I care about him and love him and I hope he gets healthy as fast as he can. Um, uh, so, for me, the leader question, it's a little bit different for me uh, and it's changed over the years and now I just view it as being present in each and every person's life in that clubhouse. I'm sorry, guys. I tried. <laughs> Man.